um, <laughs> sorry for the mess. Um, but I've been very, very creative this weekend. Um, so I thought I'd share with you some bits and bobs. So one is this scrappy journal that I have made um, for the Manchester Planner Bee. Um, and also I just wanted to share with you some bits and pieces that I've purchased on lockdown. Now being on lockdown is not good for me. <laughs> so I purchased recently the creative kit from Little Rainbow Moon. It's the UKPA, UKPA creative kit. And so it has gold set sequins that you can use. Um, a die cut with a UKPA logo for this year. Um, some journal cards. This, by the way, I will use or try to use on the big meat, which is now moved in October because of the COVID-19 virus. So there's some journal cards there. And there's this, um, got this color burst thing. I've never come across this. So I'm wondering whether this is, oh, no. I'm wondering whether this is the same as the, oh, yeah, so it's a pigment powder, so they're probably the same as the, um, I can't, I don't know that, I know, oh, it's copper or like rose gold type thing, oh no, right, hang on, let me just put that in. Those pigment inks, I can't remember now what they're called. Let's say they're pigment powders, but they act like watercolors. So that's cute. Then you've got some stickers. Hmm. It's really cute. And the vellum. And the pink tissue paper with some little shiny bits on it. Cool. So, what I did, what I realized is that I didn't order the watercolor set with it. So, I've ordered that now. So, hopefully, it will come soon. And then the other thing that I purchased from Little Rainbow Moon is this Color Me Happy watercolor set and this was made in collaboration with Irit um Ling Ling Lingraf Ling Lingraf sorry Irit if I butchered your name um oh. so it says color me happy and it says um collaborated she collaborated with Irit Langraf um, and they both share passion for color and for the palette for the for this palette which I think these is are their favorite colors really so that's really really cute so that's really nice so I'm gonna, gonna swatch that at some point that is really cool So that's that. Um, oh, I should have popped that in there. I just don't want to lose the um, description. <laughs> oh, heck. Right. Um, so the other thing that I've purchased. Um, so we had the oh, Boston Planner Me. And I've purchased some bits and bobs. From the little inky heart. Um, so I've ordered um, Chase Your Rainbow Planner stickers um, and 
Chase Your Rainbows Planner Dangle Clip. So, let's just see. Oh, I don't know why am I... I don't want to destroy it if I don't have to. Okay. Destroy the packaging. Okay. So that was last weekend. That was really quick. Oh, that's really cute. And it's a vinyl. I think I ordered a vinyl. I don't think I ordered a vinyl. Oh, that is so cute. Do you know what? These are her hand drawings. Um, she's hand drawn these things. Oh, that is so cute. She's so artistic. Oh, cute. I like that. And this would be good for like journaling. Yeah, like date stickers or number stickers. And then I really like, I, I really love this. When I saw it, I've got to have it. Right. How extremely cute is that? I like that um, hot air balloon. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. So, I think that's it. Oh no, I've got one more. One more, one more, one more. Then, I did purchase... Oh, I did purchase... Um, something from... Little pencil design. Um, so ordered some stickers and some happy earrings. So they're the happy planner rings that has been turned into earrings. That is so cute. She's put me some freebies too. So that's it. And then, okay, so the main things that I wanted to share is a project share. Um, so today I said Manchester Planner B. Um, Geraldine Jane has um, done a workshop or yeah has talked us through to um, a what it's called journal alchemy so we basically made a journal um, uh, and she taught us the basics so I decided to do an A6 size because I think that will be cute um, and I've done the all of these are my scraps, 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 scraps. So um, I've rated my scraps really. Um, so I opted for the fabric soft cover um, and I've done a patchwork, hand stitched most of it. And then I've um, machine stitched the rest, um, the applique. So all of these are from my craft um, stash. Um, I've put an eyelet there um, and just to put the ribbon through so there's a closure and these are all papers I have in my stash box or, or um, off cut box so, you know so I don't I still don't know what I'm gonna use it for but I have a I wanted what what it speaks to me is that I need to fill it up with um, stuff that I love stuff that motivates me stuff that is very meaningful to me oh <laughs> it's upside down never mind um, these are like my drop you know my my back um papers that I've used to kind of like paint over so I don't mess up my, the table I don't know what it's called nowadays oh no it's upside down this one but never mind um that's fine because you can cover it with um collage yeah so yeah so like that um 
these are like this is from notes and clips so this is like a um a baggie for your orders and stuff so i made use of them so it has greatly it has helped to reduce what i've got in my stash box i'm gonna put that there so i'm not gonna flick through yeah so it's just a mishmash of paper different paper and then I perhaps I can paint some of them. I can put gesso on them. This is like um, from a swap that we've done like, oh God, last year, I think. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to fill this with beautiful things and motivational things. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. And then I put an eye let at the top for the bookmarks or the markers string markers so that's, that's that so i had a very productive weekend and it's been the it's been really awesome i've um i don't know it's been a long time coming and i loved every single minute of it i really loved my weekend this weekend um because most of my weekends I don't get to do much. Oh, and I forgot to show you. I also made a watercolor, like a journal, watercolor journal, um, from an old book and from a caddy paper that I that I have been hoarding since last year. How awesome is that? So I'm quite pleased with that. So I have a few projects. Really, I have I have literally been very productive this weekend. So. I hope you were productive to this weekend and did something creative. And also, before I go, I've got all of this word embellishment from my lollipop box club kits. So I'm going to put them through my Zyron sticker maker so that they turn into sticker and you just stick them basically they turn into sticker and i also found these they are i stamped them on leftover um sticker paper um and these stamps are from love cynthia so they're very, really cute and you can use them in your planner and you can use them in my journal and that is really cool. And then I had a thought about doing a tag flip book or tag book, mini book. And I had all of these tags from my Lollipop Box Club with um, Lisa's message in it. So I might just gesso over my name or something like that just to hide all those and decorate it and embellish them so yeah i've been really busy and i'm quite pleased and um you know being it's a nice day outside and normally we would be you know going to the beach and spending time out but obviously we can't do that but i hope you guys are doing okay and keeping safe and doing all kinds of little um activities just to keep you going during this time of lockdown so thanks for watching guys i will see you again fairly soon bye